A string instance is immutable. Immutable means that once we create a string object, we cannot modify the value of the string object in the memory. So any operation that appears to modify the string, it will discard the old value and it will create new instance in memory to hold the new value. If I write in here string and then I define the name to be hello and then I just write in here hello world, Then I assign this value to another string, so var high is equal to hello. And then I change the value of the hello to be hi there. When I compare the references, they are going to be different, which means that even though we have changed the value of the string, the old value is still there, but without a reference. So. To check if the references are equal, we can just write console.writeLine and then reference equals. I want to check the reference of the hello and the hi. And now to see the result, we can press the control F5. And here we see that the references are not equal because we get false as a response. To solve this problem, C Sharp introduced String Builder. And a String Builder is a dynamic object that allows you to expand the number of characters in a string. It doesn't create a new object in the memory, but dynamically will expand the memory to accommodate the modified string. So let us initialize a String Builder. To initialize a String Builder, we are going to use the String Builder class. So for that, we write String Builder. And then I'll just name it SB and now new string builder. Now, if we want, we can define a value. So let us just define in here, this is a string builder. And then assign this string builder to another one. So var SB new is equal to SB. And then change the value of the first one. So SB dot append. This is additional. Now let us check the references. So for that console.writeLine. And we want to check if the references are equal. So the reference of SB. And the SB new. Control F5 to see the result. And here we see true. So this means that C Sharp did not create a new instance for the new value of our string builder. And in string builder, we have different main methods. And the first method is the append method. And this method will simply append values to the end of a string. Then we have the append format. And this will append formatted values to the end. We have the insert method, which is used to insert a string at a specified index. Then we have the remove which is used to remove the specified range. And the last one is the replace method, which is used to replace chars with the new ones. We have used already the append format. Now let us create another string builder and use all these methods. So for that, we write in here string builder as b builder is equal to new string builder. And we don't write anything by default. So let us add a value in here. So SB builder dot append. And here we're going to write I have. Now let us append another string. So SB builder dot append format. And then in here we write zero. C. This is just a way of formatting the currencies. And then in here we write 25. Now let us display the result to the users. So console.writeLine. And then SB Builder. Save the changes and then press Ctrl F5 to see the result. So here we have I have $25. Next, let us use the insert method. So for that, we write sbbuilder 
dot insert and let us define the index to be zero and in zero we want to add and then starting from zero we want to write in here that john so like john said this save the changes and run the application one more time so here now we have john said that i have 25 dollars now let us use the remove method so for that we write in here sb builder then from here i want to remove starting from the first index i want to remove two chars save the changes and run the application one more time so here now instead of john we just see the jn because we started from the index one, but the string builder is based on the index zero. So that's why we deleted the second chart. And the last one is the replace. So right in here, SB builder dot replace. And we want to replace the have with head. Then save the changes and run the application one more time. So here, instead of I have, we see that I had. So this is all for this part. But before we continue with the next one, it's important to remember that a string builder is mutable. A string builder performs faster than strings when appending multiple string values. To initialize a string builder, we initialize it like a class with a parameter or without a parameter. Also, use string builder when you need to append more than three or four strings. Use the append method to add or append strings with a string builder, and use the toString method to get the string from string builder. 